with Telecommunicators Appreciation Week, which comes to a close today. But this is an ongoing issue, appreciating these 911 dispatchers that work those long hours in a very stressful environment, not just for a week, but year round. This is a tough job and it's a job that is sometimes tough to fill. Brittany Schmidt joining us now in advance of her story on this coming up tonight at five o'clock. So let's start with that last issue, staffing. Is it still a big problem? I mean, it is. They're not immune to what we've been seeing across so many different companies and businesses and jobs and stuff like that. And so recently, it was about a few months ago when we learned that um, Door County was at a really critical staffing level where they knew they needed to do something to get dispatchers. And so um, the emergency dispatch, the um, direct there actually he kind of came up with some initiatives and the first one was kind of really refocusing the the job really really promoting it as a career I mean people can be in these long term right um, it takes years of experience and teaching and learning and so and training, he, and training right? right so he really I mean they rallied around them and they got the county to invest money and to up the pay there and then to kind of refocus and really promote this as a career education right and so then they went into buying billboards and they put out um, social media posts and they did radio ads. And he's like, you wouldn't believe the amount of applications we got. So, within so how many? That first month that yeah. they put them up. So they bought them for three months. And he's like, because so, you probably have to buy in these segments. Right. And right. they're like, oh, it might take some time. After a month, they saw a 750% increase. Wow in applications they received. And they said after a month, they were like, we're overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah. We need to slow this down a little bit. But truly remarkable to get that so quickly. Yeah, so it, it's interesting that the rebranding of it mm -hmm. and, and that's worked and about this being a career. So you spoke with someone who has in fact made it a career. <laughs> Was that her intention from the beginning? It wasn't. So I talked to Carrie Kirkla and she's at Brown County. She just celebrated 25 years um, on the headset behind that phone this, call. There our... she is. Yep. Uh, so 25 years and I asked her, I was like, was this a dream? You know, were you going to do this from little on? And she said, no, <laughs> but it's now in her blood. She actually, her husband is in law enforcement. And so back in the nineties, they got a postcard in the mail that said, oh, telecommunicator, this is the job title. She goes, you know what? I could do that. And she applied and so she's been there ever since and so one of the things that i talked to her you know she does it for the community you know no call is too small but she said that sometimes during telecommunicators week is the only week that they're really recognized as first responders and she says it's a little disheartening because they're the ones that get the ball moving they're the right. first first, first responders, responders right and so sometimes they don't get the benefits that first responders receive so they're hoping that you know with technology advancements with more people looking at this as a career path that there might be some re-identification or mis reclassification of the job title there as well right. interesting they rebranded it to get people coming in now the people on the outside probably need to rebrand it as well looking forward to the story mm -hmm. coming up tonight at five o'clock all right